Hey, hi, everyone. My name is Jerry Wise, and I am a relationship coach and a person who has been helping individuals for many decades now, probably more like 45 years or so, to help people get their family of origin out of them. And particularly working with adult children of narcissists, that is a specialty of mine. And today I want to talk about narcissistic parents, how authentic people would handle them. If we were truly healthy, recovered, in a healed, healthy place, how would we handle narcissistic folks in our life besides just avoiding them? So let me share some things with you. A self-differentiated or authentic person would be consistently setting and enforcing boundaries. Now, I'm not saying that would change the narcissist, but I'm saying we would set and we enforce our boundaries. If they did not, you know, comply with those, we would adjust ourselves by either moving away, shifting, or changing in a way that we expect less from them. And we would probably be interacting with them less and less. Authentic people handle narcissistic parents by maintaining these boundaries even when tested by the narcissistic parent. And again, I'm not saying the narcissistic parent would behave well, but if that's the case, then I'm going to be moving this way and moving this way, and they can misbehave over here all they want, and I will move this way until their bad behavior does not affect me. Secondly, authentic people would handle narcissistic parents by avoiding blame and adjusting to the parent. Authentic people handle narcissistic parents by focusing on their own actions and responses rather than blaming the parent. Is the parent blameworthy? I suppose, yes, they are. But blaming does not equal maturity, recovery, or health. Focusing on our own action and responses is the best way to handle narcissistic parents. Thirdly, self-differentiated or authentic people would manage their emotional location. Or when I say emotional location, I mean the work of detachment because that changes our emotional location in the relationship. Authentic people handle narcissistic parents by keeping a healthy emotional distance, recognizing that changing the parent's behavior is unlikely to non-existent. So again, we want to have emotional distance to where what they're doing doesn't matter. Self-differentiated and authentic people make their calmness a priority. Authentic people handle narcissistic parents by prioritizing their own self-regulation, emotional stability, and staying calm no matter what. That's what mature, recovered, healthy people do. Self-differentiated and authentic people prioritize self-care and their needs. Authentic people handle narcissistic parents by engaging in regular self-care activities, such as exercise, meditation, hobbies, spending time with supportive friends, and thinking less and less about the toxic people in their lives. Self-differentiated and authentic people practice self-compassion and self-acceptance. Authentic people handle narcissistic parents by accepting who they are, who the parents are, and they would understand and affirm that they deserve care and respect regardless of their parental behavior. And again, I think that's very important that Whatever they say about us, however they treat us, that's not who we are. And I, I've used the phrase oftentimes that you are as lovable 
as they think you are not lovable. And I want you to think about that, meditate on that. Self-differentiated and authentic people use being a broken record as a part of their maturity. Authentic people handle narcissistic parents by using acting as a broken record when it comes to communicating their boundaries, preferences, and needs. They remain a broken record even in the face of strong pressure or manipulation or push pushback. I understand, Mom. I understand, Dad, that, that's, that you feel I'm wrong for pressing this. But that is my preference and that's what I want to do. I'm not going to be coming to that dinner. I don't choose to. Yeah, but why? And what's wrong with you? And what's I understand that you have questions about why I might not want to come. But I do not wish to come, and that is my preference at this time. That is my preference at this time. That is my preference at this time. That's called being a broken record. Self-differentiated and authentic people manage expectations, their own expectations. Authentic people handle narcissistic parents by accepting that the narcissistic parent is unlikely to change, and adjust their expectations accordingly. And so many times I have asked clients that I've worked with over the many decades, if your parent or parents never changed, if your narcissistic sister or brother or aunt or uncle never changed, what would you do differently? Do it. Act and accept the fact that they will never change. Now, if they change, that's wonderful. But it's better to act as if they never will. You will be healthier and take care of yourself more. And you will manage your own expectations better. Rather than always hoping, well, they said something nice. I've even had people go, well, my narcissistic mom went to church with her best friend. Oh, well, maybe she will become a Christian and she will change. No, she just went with the, her best friend and went to the church. That doesn't mean all is well. Now, miracles can happen, but I'm going to accept the miracle after it has happened. Self-differentiated and authentic people remain self-focused. Authentic people handle narcissistic parents by prioritizing their own needs and their own well-being over always being focused on other people and trying to meet the expectations or demands of the narcissistic parent. Self-differentiated and authentic people work on underlying enmeshment. And enmeshment is the opposite of detachment. Authentic people handle narcissistic parents by recognizing and addressing the unhealthy emotional entanglement with the narcissistic parent get coaching, work on ways in which you can detach emotionally, look at your fantasies and your expectations of the narcissistic parent, because that will often keep you more attached to them in an unhealthy way. And at the end of this video, I'll talk about a couple of things that will help you with that, uh, dealing with unhealthy emotional enmeshment. Authentic people focus on self-differentiation. Authentic people handle narcissistic parents by developing a strong sense of self separate from the influence of the narcissistic parent. And we want to become ourselves separate from the narcissistic parent. And I go into great length describing that in many of my videos and I'm going to talk about more th that more at the end of the video. Authentic people avoid waiting for change. Authentic people handle narcissistic parents by not expecting or waiting for the narcissistic parent to change, focusing instead on their own growth, their own healing, their own detachment, and their own way in which they interact with the narcissistic parent. Authentic people improve personal functioning and resilience. Authentic people handle narcissistic parents by concentrating on enhancing their own life and functioning 
independent of the parent's behavior, personality disorder, toxicity. So what are some self-differentiation tips? Focus on building the self you are never allowed to have. Go check out the free training I've listed below. Doesn't cost you a dime. 84 minutes of free training. Begin to start thinking in those ways. Self-acceptance is the key. Accept where you are today. Accept where they are today. If they're a narcissistic parent, accept that they're a narcissistic parent. Stop trying to change them. Adjust yourself and learn to have a true self apart from their disorder. Thirdly, ask yourself, if I was fully authentic today, what would I be thinking? What would I be feeling? What would I be doing? Check out the free training that I have listed below. I want to thank you for watching today. Please subscribe, comment, and like this video. Have a great day and be wise.